Hey everyone, welcome back to another create tutorial. This episode, we're showing you guys how to automatically brew potions, and also how to craft glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder fully automatically using Minecraft Create Mon. So first thing we're going to go over is how to actually brew potions using Create. So the first thing you need is a mixer, a basin, and a blaze burner. Kind of need them in this configuration with the basin sitting right top of the blaze burner, and the mixer with a one block gap. Now to actually power the mixer, what you want to do is you want to take a cogwheel, you want to interface with the gear inside of the mixer to actually make it spin. Now you do need this going at least uh, 32 speed, I believe it is. Otherwise it won't be going fast enough and when you hover over this, it'll say more speed is required. So if that happens, just kind of gear up your system to get it the power it needs to actually mix up your potions. And then to actually craft your potions, you're gonna need water, potion ingredients, glass bottles, and coal. Uh, this doesn't have to be coal, it could be any, basically anything that will burn in a furnace. So your first step is going to be to put water in your basin. Basically it's going to be your base ingredient you need to actually craft the potions. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be water, because if I go ahead and look at like a speed 2 potion, you can see that we got to start with um, speed potions. So basically you want to start with whatever liquid is first. Now, if I look at the actual crafting recipes for these potions, so if we just look, look at awkward potions, we can see that we can basically craft the base potion using create with our mixing process here with another or water. So we're gonna start off with an awkward potion. So we got our water in here. Um, you can right click the basin with a bucket. The basin will hold up to one bucket of liquid at a time. Then I'm also going to go ahead and throw another wart in here. Oops, <laughs> if we can manage to get it in there. Now what I need to do is I need to power our blaze burner. By powering that, I'm just right clicking it with a coal. And so the mixer is going to drop down, mix it up, and now you can see it's got a little bit of a different texture to it, which means it is our um, awkward potion. So now if I throw a glistening melon in there, it's going to turn into our potion of health. Then I can throw a piece of gunpowder in there to craft it into um, uh, extra health. So now that I have my potion created, what I can do is I'm just going to put myself in survival. And now when I right click the basin, I get my splash potion of healing. Sorry, the, the gunpowder doesn't make it last longer, it turns into a splash potion. So now what this do is I can right click it, get my potion effect. Now there's a few benefits um, you gain from doing it this way. First of all, it's possible to automate it. And second of all, it's really cheap. So for instance, I just got four potions there. Whereas like the default recipe for one of these, you're only going to get three potions. So you get like a little bit extra for your input. So for each uh, item that you throw into your crafting, you get basically one extra potion from it. Now after a little bit of testing, I basically put together this, which I believe... So after a little bit of testing, I put this together, which I believe to be pretty much the most efficient design you can get to actually automatically craft potions and create. So this is basically taking the basics from this design and then scaling it up into a fully automatic design. So the first thing we got is you need to make our awkward potion. We're just basically making a speed potion with duration eight. So the first step is to make our awkward potion. So to make that, we take our nether wart, which we just have it in a creative crate, so we have basically infinite nether wart being pumped out uh, through a belt into our basin. This can be done with a belt and a filter uh, funnel. It could also be done with a hopper or basically any other um, item pipes from other mods that would pipe items in. Um, then we also have to pump in our water, which we got a creative fluid tank full of water here, and then we're using a mechanical pump to pump water into our basin. Then we got our mixer, basically mixing up, making an awkward potion. Then the very last step is we have to actually power our blaze burner. And I'm doing that automatically using mechanical arm. To get this set up, what I gotta do is I basically gotta right click each of these blaze burners. That's basically setting these as our outputs. Then I right click our depot, which is what it's gonna take items from. And then when I place it, it'll basically take the coal from here and then fill these guys up as they need it. 
Um, now for the coal, basically we're just taking from a crate. Uh, what you could do is you could hook this up to uh, automatic tree farm, which is making charcoal, and then you could use that charcoal to feed your blaze burners. So that we get, now that we got that all figured out, it's basically making our awkward potion. The next step for our speed and duration eight minutes potion is to actually put our sugar in here and mix it up. So we got sugar being pumped in from the back and we got a little mixer. Now to actually get the potion from here to here, if you place two basins um, next to each other like this, kind of kitty corner, what's gonna happen is it's gonna put this little spout on the basin. Uh, what the spout does is it takes whatever the result of the craft is and puts it down to this next basin. Now one cool thing you can do with this is if I say I wanted it on this basin instead, I can basically right click with a wrench and change where our spout is outputting the potion. So our awkward potion is automatically dispensed into the second basin, which is then automatically dispensed into the third basin where we're pumping in redstone to make our higher duration speed potion. And now to actually get it out of this basin and into somewhere where we can store it, what we're doing is we got to use a pump to get it out of there. Now, when you're pumping something out with a pipe, it doesn't actually discern whether it is the result or the input. So to make sure that we get the right thing, we put a smart fluid pipe on here with the final potion in the filter slot. So basically we right click the little filter slot with a finished potion and it will only pull out that potion. So we just got it coming up here into a tank for storage. Now to actually take the potion out of this tank and put it into the bottle, what we got is we got a spout sitting at the edge here. So we got another mechanical pump going to the spout. What I can do is I can just throw these onto our depot. And what it'll do is it'll craft eight potions. Can just go all the way around here. And it'll basically keep going, but after those eight, it won't actually stay on there. So if there's something you want to throw some bottles on there and run off, um, I would only recommend doing eight at a time. Otherwise, you're going to need some kind of collection way to basically collect these potions as they get crafted. Well, the last thing we're going to go over is how to automatically craft glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder. So the way we're actually doing that is basically we're taking this cinder flower item which you can craft by crushing netherrack. Um, so this is going to be the only input that you need to input that can't be automated. You input netherrack, get the cinder flower, and you can use that by filling it with night vision to get glowstone, strength to get redstone, or harming to get gunpowder. So here I've got a gunpowder farm set up here because uh, that's kind of the most advanced version of those three crafts because it's the only one that requires basically two steps, all the other ones require one. So I'm using my efficient little design. The one thing I did is I moved the arm a bit closer just to make it a little tighter. So over here I have a little automatic wart farm, which is automatically collecting the wart, putting it on this belt, putting it into this first basin, which is mixing it up, making your aqua potion, which is then dumped into this next basin. Um, and now you will need to hook up a spider eye farm, so you can either do it by grabbing some spawners, moving them to a location, or you can just set it up by a spider spawner or some other mob farm. Um, but I got those being pumped into the second one, which is making our potion of poison. And the last step is to make these fermented spider eyes, which actually make our potion of harming. Now to make the fermented spider eyes, what we're doing is we got a sugarcane farm here, which is automatically collecting our sugarcane. Then we're pumping it up here, dropping it down into a millstone, which crushes it up into sugar. And then we're putting it into a mixer. Now what the mixer does is it's an automatic way to craft our fermented spider eyes. So it's a spider eye, a brown mushroom, and sugar. The one thing that I neglected to put in here is a brown mushroom, so you can see I just tossed them in there for demonstration purposes, but those will need to be pumped into the space in as well, and then it'll kind of mix it up, make our fermented spider eyes, which will then be kicked off into this last basin. So this last basin will be mixed up, and it'll craft our potion of harming stored in this tank. The last step we gotta do is we gotta actually craft our um, gunpowder. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some netherrack in this chest, which will be dropped down into our crushing wheels, crushed and turn into cinder flower. The cinder flower will then kind of take a little detour around here. So you can see we got a stack coming through. Now what'll happen is it'll actually stop under the spout on the belt, get filled up and craft our gunpowder. 
So you can see it just basically as like a stack goes by, it'll stop, always stop here, be filled up and then stored in the chest. So that is how you would automatically craft gunpowder. And then redstone would be pretty much very similar. Um, only difference being you need potion of strength, which is craft with blaze powder. And then the glowstone is also very easy with night vision, which you craft with a golden carrot. Bit of a shorter video this week. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content, you guys know what to do. Bye bye.